go live in three. Second studio. Does we'll have anyone, a, sorry to interrupt. Has anyone got a mobile phone on there? Yes. Do you make sure that it's off? Can you yeah, be in the strictest of the areas? Just because otherwise you get that really big. Don't want that. You want some. So what we'll probably do, because this is, um, is we're pre-recording pre it to play out, we'll probably edit it all up to make it a lot tighter. So it doesn't matter if um, you know one of you answers a question, and then moves to the side, and someone else answers the question. We've written down just a few questions so we can tell you what the question is before you answer it, so you can have an idea as to what you're going to say. That make it a bit easier. Yep. This morning in the studio, we're joined by Aylesbury Cheerleading Academy. Woo! Uh, they're off to America in May for the world final of cheerleading. So Izzy, I suppose the first question to ask you is, how on earth do a cheerleading academy from Aylesbury get to a world final? So we went to a national competition down in Bournemouth where we competed our routines that it's like the last competition of the season. So you've been working on your routines all season, go and compete them down there and then we won our division and then we, so the summit bidding, if they think you have potential then they'll give you a bid so it's like, it's kind of like an invitation to go and compete out there. So we were really lucky and when we got back from our competition the bids were released and we all did a live stream on Instagram and found out that we'd got our bid. Sophie, what do you need to do to go on to win a cheerleading world final? Well, to win, you need to... There's five elements that make up cheerleading, which is stunts, jumps, dance, tumble, and a pyramid. And to put it all together, you need to have like performance, sass, and you need to be really sharp. But what is sass? <laughs> well, whatever it is. Our coach always tells us to do the O phase, which is just where we basically make a massive O with our face. Can you just do it quickly? It won't work on radio, but. <laughs> yeah, like, um, so yeah, it's just like you can pout, smile, just so you're not look, so you look like you're enjoying it, and you just don't look bored. And so, so like this again. This isn't gonna work, but like this. So, sort of, kind of like. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, Olivia, your team captain sounds like a very important job. Um, who comes up with the routines, and have you already decided on the routines you're gonna do when you're at the world final? Well, usually it's our coaches, Pascal and Ewan. They come up with like all the creativity and like everything. But we were lucky enough to work with some of the best coaches from over in America who work with the best teams. We had Jonathan Lewis and we had Kenny from a company called Spring. And Kenny did our pyramid and just made it like top notch and just made it amazing. And it was so amazing to work with both of them. Jonathan Lewis did all of the transitions and everything and just made it like sharp and sassy. Ellie, how many teams get to go out to America and take part? So there were hundreds of teams and um, that competed at this competition, but there were only a handful of like um, bids that got handed out to everybody, and we were lucky enough to qualify for one of them. And then, um, and once you get out there, um, do you know? From where else in the world other countries are, are competing? You know, where the other teams come from? Um, so, like, the ones from UK, obviously they're like London, and then there's also loads around, like, <laughs> the world. So, like, Australia, New Zealand, there's teams from coming from all over there. Evie, I've never seen cheerleaders live in action. I've obviously seen lots of films with cheerleaders cheering on various teams. What skills do you really need to be a good cheerleader? Well, you definitely need like flexibility and courage, determination, and definitely an overload of sass. <laughs> Liver and Sophie, you're off to off to America. How long are you going out there for? We're going out there for a week from the 28th of May to the 6th of 
I said that wrong. You said <laughs> the tw- from the 28th of April to around the 5th of May. So you're spending a whole week with each other. Do you guys all get on? Yes. Yeah, we're like a huge family. Like we all just bounce off each other. Like we all get along. Everyone is just friends, and we go. We're staying in a massive villa together, and we can't wait. It should be absolutely amazing. Who, who's who's the who's the joker of the team? Who's most likely to I don't know have a bit of a. Um, <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Is he definitely? Or Poppy? Poppy. Can't stop. Yeah. yeah. That no light in the like a. Uh uh. <laughs> 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 who's the hardest worker? Who tries to kind of like outwork everybody else and train harder than everyone else? You say. Liv. Sophie. Sophie. Yeah. I would say we all work as hard as each other because we all want it so bad, and we all have incredible work ethics yeah. and we just come together as a team and just work hard together. And, and how many chances, do you, so once you're out there and you're competing, do you, do you have like, uh, you know, a couple of goes or do you have like, how, how does it how does it all work? Basically, so our coach has, has managed to get us a gym to train out when we're there. So we're actually training at Top Gun, which is one of the biggest gyms in America. Um, so we will, should train there Tuesday and Wednesday and then we will compete for day one, which is on Thursday. And then if we're good enough and we get a high enough score, then we can qualify and go into day two, which will only be like 50% of our division. Um, and then from day two, then it will decide our placings, basically. Poppy and Phoebe, you're both going on the trip. I'm guessing to take you all out there to America is going to be quite expensive. So it's roughly 32000 to send our whole team out for the World Championship. So we've had to do like a lot of fundraising for it. Um, such as we went to Tesco's and we like packed people's bags and like seed. How seed? Wait, can I start again? Yeah. Um, we went to Tesco's down in Broadfield and we like packed people's bags to like see if they would help like fundraise for our team to actually get out to America. We also held lots of events like within our cheer what is it? community, like for the people's like family and friends to come along as well. So we did like a horse racing night, like people came along and they like watched the horse racing, like put bids on like the horses and stuff like that. Um, we also did a party for like all cheer family and friends and yeah people came along and just helped fundraise for our team with it being such an expense to go out and obviously i'm sure whilst you're out there you might do a bit of shopping and you if you get a bit of break time from your hard training or treat yourselves to a meal out if people do want to help you with your trip and support you financially and maybe make a donation can people do that absolutely yeah we'd be really appreciative of anyone that could do that it will really help us and how can we do that? Uh, we have a website which um, you can talk to the coaches and get in touch with everyone. And yeah, we'll find a way. And what's the website? Uh, it's lsbchillyacademy.co.uk. Cool. <laughs> and uh, you and Pascal are two of the coaches at the academy. You must be really proud of uh, what the girls have achieved. It's unbelievable. They have achieved so much in such a short space of time. They are like a pleasure to teach. We absolutely love kind of being involved with them and seeing where this adventure is going to take them. And, and how did you guys get into being cheerleading coaches? Um, I did it at uni. Ewan's married to an ex cheerleader. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we both met by fate and started at the club and been a whirlwind since then. And uh, have, have the girls got a good chance of, uh, of, of bringing home some silverware? Definitely, definitely. The, the UK's got a good reputation of going out to the competition and doing really, really well. So we're hoping that the ACA girls can go out there and continue on that trend. And uh, how are we going to find out how well you've done afterwards? Can we find it on the website? Are you... Yeah, so we'll, um, we'll definitely we'll be live blogging pretty much every day, kind of keeping the world updated on our progress. So all of our social medias, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Snapchat. So just look for Ellsbury Cheerleading Academy. You can find us. And we have a YouTube channel as well, and then you can kind of keep up to date with our progress.